Hello and welcome to the Comlex Instant Review Podcast. Uh, let's review some of the neurocutaneous disorders. What is Sergi Weber's syndrome? Well, this is a congenital disorder consisting of port wine nevus flaminous like stains, usually in the V1 ophthalmic distribution, and it presents with ipsilateral leptomeningeal angiomas, pheochromocytomas, and can cause glaucoma, seizures, hemiparesis, and mental retardation. Usually occurs sporadically. What about von Hippel-Lindau disease? Well, von Hippel-Lindau disease uh, has cavernous hemangiomas in the skin, mucosa, and organs. There's also bilateral renal cell carcinoma, hemangioblastoma in the retina, brainstem, cerebellum, and its association with pheochromocytoma. So von Hippel-Lindau, you're thinking hemangiomas, renal cell carcinomas, hemangioblastomas, and pheochromocytoma. It's an autosomal condition, and it's often related to a mutated tumor suppressor VHL gene on chromosome 3. Finally, let's review tuberous sclerosis. When you hear tuberous sclerosis, high yield topic on the board, you start thinking about men mitral regurgitation, seizures, hypopigmented ash leaf spots, sebaceous adenoma, shag green patch, autosomal dominant condition with hamartomas in the skin, CNS, organs, um, and also cardiac rhabdomyomas and renal angiomyolipomas. So there's a lot of associations, but the key ones with tuber sclerosis you want to remember, again, is mitral regurg, hypopigmented Ashley spots, shag green patch, and the hamartomas along with the subependymal giant cell astrocytoma association. What is neurofibromatosis type 1 von Recklinghaus disease involved? This is another neurocutaneous disorder that presents with cafe or lay spots Lish nodules, which are pigmented iris hamartomas, neurofibromas in the skin, optic gliomas, pheochromocytomas. It's also autosomal dominant, and there's a mutated NF1 gene on chromosome 17. So, to recap here, with Sergi Weber, you're thinking of the port wine stain, V1 ophthalmic distribution, pheochromocytoma, along with glaucoma. With von Hippel-Lindau, you're thinking mainly to look for signs of renal cell carcinoma, hemangiomas, um, pheochromocytoma association, tumor suppressor gene VHL on chromosome 3, and retinoblastomas in the retina. With tuberous sclerosis, it's mainly um, making sure that the patient has mitral regurg, hypopigmented ash leaf spots, um, shag green patch, and again, uh, cardiac rhabdomyoma and renal angiomyolipoma associations. With neurofibromatosis type 1, the key is cafe au lait spots and Lish nodules, which are the pigmented iris hamartomas. And again, neurofibromas on the skin, and it's also associated with pheochromocytoma. So, um, out of all the neurocutaneous disorders, only tuberous sclerosis does not have an association with the pheochromocytoma. That was a quick Comlex instant review. Please visit comlexflashcards.com for daily Comlex updates.